G'day and welcome to Disc Golf Down Under. It's Matt here and in this video I'm going to be having a look at the MVP Disc Station. What is it and do you need one? Let's get on with it. Okay, so before we get started, a few thank yous and three in fact. So first of all, thank you to, to my subscribers. We've just hit 4,000. So it's great to see the Disc Golf Down Under channel continue to grow. Uh, and my second thank you is to Simon. Uh, Simon on the Nick and Matt show a few weeks ago gave a shout out to Disc Golf Down Under. So thanks Simon and that may be why the channel has grown a bit. So if you're here because Simon sent you, welcome. And finally, a uh, big thank you to MVP for sending me the disc station to put together and review for you. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing to begin with. So the box itself, uh, it comes in a fairly standard cardboard box, about 820 millimeters, 230 by 170, and it weighs 15 kilograms. So let's open it up and have a look what's inside. So we've got some cardboard to protect it. Got some very simple six step instructions there. So on how to put it together. And let's just pull the components out and place them on the table. So we've got some metal parts here. So that's some more pieces, some base plates. bag of fasteners and more, some bars, and then we've got some legs and some foam in the bottom to help protect it. So that's it, it's in the box. So let's get it out of the wrap and for that we're going to need a knife. So we're back with some scissors. And we've got some cable ties here. Okay, so there we go. Box is unboxed and we have four legs. They look all to be the same. We have 24 long fasteners. We have 24 short screws. We have four feet. We have two base. And we have a top. Okay, so now that we've unboxed it, uh, we've got our six simple instructions. So let's see if we can follow these and put it together. So the, uh, the feet screw in and they've got nuts on there so that you can adjust it and level this out in case you're putting it on an uneven floor. Okay, so we've started with the, uh, the bottom level, I guess, and this disc station holds a very large number of discs, over 200 in fact. Now, if you don't have over 200 discs, the beauty about this system is that you can start with the, the half system, and we can set it up there, and you can put your top on, and with three shelves, you get you started, and then when you get more discs, you can grow and make it larger. And we're gonna start with the full size one, so just hang five while we add more. So as you can see, very well designed system. It slots together very quickly and easily. Put in a fastener, use the included hex wrench, tighten it up, and you're ready to uh, move on to the next step. So there we go, two sides done. Okay, so moving on to the next step now, we have got 12 tubes here, which will make up six shelves. And so what we want to do is we, uh, the instructions say to have the screws on the outside. So we'll put that on the outside and we'll start up here at the top, poke our first fastener through. We're still using the longer fasteners and we'll just thread this on. 
So yes, very easy to assemble. Just hold it in place, tighten with the hex wrench. And we just need to repeat this 24 times. There we go, first side is all screwed together, just like assembling IKEA furniture. So if you enjoy IKEA and putting together your flat pack furniture, you'll enjoy putting together the disc station. So we'll just put our uh, other side over the top and repeat the process to screw it together. So there we go, the side is now secure. Okay, and our final step is the top. So this is a, a welded construction, cheap metal with some angles on the side, channel on the side. So they should just pop on top. Look at that, easy as, and some more fasteners to secure it in place. Uh, if you're going to do this, I would recommend not doing it outside where if you drop the screws, they're going to drop in the grass and you'll lose them. Probably best to do it inside on some carpet or some tiles. There we go, our assembled disc station. Uh, all we needed was a trusty hex wrench and some fasteners. So if you might have a PVC construction type layout or a bookshelf like I have at the moment, uh, this is definitely a step up. This is going to be a very high quality uh, disc rack. So let's grab some discs and see how it goes. Okay, so let's start with some putters. Uh, so I've got a whole stack of Envies here. Let's see how many we can, how we go with these on the top shelf. Okay, so we've got our putters in. Let's do a quick count. So 31 discs on the top shelf there with the putters. And uh, so this thing supposedly holds around 240 discs. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six shelves. Uh, so if you're only putting in putters, you may only get about 180, 200. Uh, but let's grab some fairway drivers and see how they go. Okay, so we've got a stack of drivers now and let's load them up. Okay, let's do a quick count. So we've got 41 drivers on there. So 41 and then we multiply by six shelves, we're over 240, 246 in fact. So on this rack, you'll get somewhere between 180 and 240 plus, uh, depending on your mix of putters and drivers and so on. But you can see now it's uh, very sturdy, especially on, uh, on a carpet or a um, tile floor. You won't be falling over. As we said before, you've got the feet that you can level it so that it won't rock. But yeah, very high quality product here from MVP. So, it's a great product. It is $199 US dollars, recommended retail price. A little bit on the expensive side, but uh, there are some people out there that do custom shelving and things like that. This would be on par with that. The, the quality of the product is top notch. Does have MVP up there. I guess if you wanted to, you could cover that up if you're not a fan of MVP. Uh, but yeah, the paintwork is very good. This is all metal construction. It is going to last you well until you're at the end of your disc golf days. And here you go, you can actually set it up as a half height stand if you don't have the need for the 240 discs when you first start out. So it is a system that you can expand from 
120 up to 240. So there you go, the MVP disc station. Thanks very much to MVP for sending me over one of these to have a look at. Um, this is going to be become the pride of my, uh, my living room and uh, it will keep all of my discs. Uh, whether I'm gonna need all 240 to start with is, uh, I may have to just go to the half height, but that's the beauty of this system, is that we can cut it down and uh, store up to 120 there. No problem on that first three levels. Uh, again, thanks to MVP for sending this one out so that uh, I can review it and show everyone how it goes together. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you want one of these? Do you think you need one of these? What do you think of the price? 199 US recommended retail? Is it maybe a bit too steep? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Disc Golf Down Under. We've got some more great Disc Golf content coming up in the next few weeks. And uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.